welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the top five creepiest things caught in mines or caves. Because caves and mines are some of the creepiest places on earth. But before we get started, I'm Sophia Lovelace and I post about ghosts, schools, anything creepy and cool. So if you like any of that stuff, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to be notified when I have new uploads. Also when you're down there, make sure to hit the bell icon so you're one of the first people notified when I have a new upload. Now the first video on this list is probably most likely the most scariest one on this list. Because I thought, hey, if we're doing a top five, we might as well start off with a bang and show you one of the most terrifying encounters ever in a mine. Ugh. This one is pretty spooky. Now the very first video is from the YouTube channel Exploring Abandoned Mines and Unusual Places. And let me start off by saying this is not a paranormal channel. This YouTube channel is purely focused on exploring abandoned mines and unusual places, which I mean is literally the title of the YouTube channel. This video was taken at the Horton Mine, and this explorer suggests that we do not visit this mine due to the strange activity that he experienced, but also because he believes that it is quite dangerous and that the mine is not in really good shape. I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to show you the clip now so you can decide for yourself how scary this situation is. I don't know why that one chain is swinging back there. Don't know if you can see that in the video or not. Yeah, this mine definitely has a very spooky vibe to it. So I'm gonna head back out and check out the other stuff that's here. This is just too wet, too muddy. Um, and obviously something is making the chains uh, swing. Now one important thing to note about this clip is that the chain that is swinging in this video weighs at least 40 pounds, which is um, quite heavy. So it would take a little bit more than the wind to cause it to move. Also, if that is the case, why is only one of the chains swinging. If it was wind, don't you think all of them would at least be a little bit swaying? But the rest seem pretty still, and that's the only one that's moving. Now that is not the only strange thing that happened at the Horton Mine. This YouTuber decided to go back a year later and film his experience, and let's just say that his experience the second time was more disturbing than the first. Of course, while filming this video and having this event happen to him, he knew that it was strange and possibly paranormal, but he didn't quite know or catch what the voices were saying. So with the help of YouTube commenters, people began to place their theories of what they heard. Most commonly accepted interpretation of what the voices are saying is that most people believe that it is a woman with a very thick French accent who does not really have a good grasp of English, so her English is really broken as she is shouting at this man who's exploring the mine. And then also, well, there's a very strange noise and We'll talk about it after you watch this clip. And, um... Now, after watching that clip, it is important to note that several YouTube commenters believe that the siren that is heard at the very end is actually that of a French police car. And that's why people were able to determine that this woman was French which is pretty disturbing. It doesn't make a lot of sense why there would be a French police siren or a French uh, woman in the mine, 
As far as I know, this was in America. I'm pretty sure that this mine is in like the desert area of America, so I don't really see how a ghost would be French and in a cave like that. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Not saying that this is fake. I definitely don't think that the videos on this channel, um, Abandoned Minds in Unusual Places, is definitely not a fake paranormal channel. I just think it's a very, very strange occurrence. Now this makes me wonder if this was even paranormal at all. Do you think it was a ghost or do you think it's some sort of weird dystopian type group living in the back of the cave like a City of Ember or a District 13 style group of people or do you even think that it's a prank? I have no idea what this could be so that is why I decided to include it in this video so you guys can help solve this mystery. Now normally I wouldn't share two videos from the same creator in the same top 10 video on my channel. However, exploring abandoned and mines and unusual places also posted another freaky video in the mines. So I thought I would include this one because it is also very scary. So take a look and tell me what you hear. Sounds like, uh, what, is that wind? Can you, I don't know if you can hear that on the camera. Do you hear that? It stopped. Wow. I don't know what that is. That doesn't sound like wind, but that's crazy. Don't know if that's a bird or I don't know what that is. It almost sounds like snakes, but wow. I've heard some weird stuff in mines, but that is definitely creepy. I don't know what that is. Now the man claims at the time he was filming this video, what he heard was snakes. But let me tell you, I really don't think what he heard was snakes. I think, I think there was, um, maybe, um, demons? Probably demons. After watching this video, the only non-paranormal explanation I have is maybe there is some sort of strange gases being released in the mine. So in the description of this video, which did end up going viral, he stated, this channel, however, is not about the paranormal or ghost hunting. Never has been, never will be. With over 540 videos, only 1% are about the paranormal. Or about the paranormal? Deal with the paranormal. I'm terrible at reading quotes. Thank goodness I'm not a journalist. So that leads into the question of if he just wanted to become YouTube famous, once you realize that a certain type of video goes viral, wouldn't you attempt to produce more of it? Now we're gonna have a little bit of a break from the paranormal very scary paranormal evidence that is caught in a cave and we're going to watch something that is probably equally as terrifying. Exploring with Josh is a urban exploration channel here on YouTube and I actually watched one of his videos before filming this video today because I love exploring with Josh. He is not a paranormal channel. He purely focuses on just exploring abandoned places. Now occasionally he does get the like an occasional door moving on its own, but beyond that, paranormal things don't typically happen in his videos. And this is an example of something that is not paranormal, but is a uh, quite disturbing. English? I don't know you speak English? English? No English. No. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Uh. Um. Uh. -huh. <laughs> Come with us. Hey, Josh. Do you see those, uh, the couple that was back there? Come on, come Can you with tell us? them their daughter's up here? She's scared. They, 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 they don't speak, she yeah, doesn't she speak English. English. She doesn't speak English. It's okay. It's all right. This is the way uh, back. That what an experience. As we were about to leave, this little girl comes up out of nowhere, scares us, and at first we're like, wait, whose parents are hers? And she, there, she was just there alone by herself. Then she just stood there in the back, so I started talking to her, but she wouldn't answer me. And I was like, wait a minute, 
I don't think she speaks English. It turns out she really didn't speak English at all. She's by herself, crawled the whole way in there by herself, no light. No light, what the heck? I don't get it, no light. She didn't even speak English. So they were like, okay, come with us. And you know, eventually, I guess her parents were taught, like yelling her name in their language. And yeah, she went back, but it was, she started crying and said, it was kind of a crazy situation. And then also think about how terrifying this situation is. This little girl did not have a flashlight with her and she was just wandering around in the cave in the dark, which is just terrifying. So that is why I decided to include it in this video because even though it was not paranormal and normally I do not focus on creepy things that happen in real life, I decided to include this one because it is really spooky and I feel really bad for the little girl who got stuck. During World War II, the Nazis came up with a plan to create a series of tunnels. Now having mysterious tunnels created by the Nazis that no one knows the purpose of is terrifying enough, let alone when strange creatures are spotted in these tunnels. As you can see in the clip, there is a small creature who is smaller than the average human being. And as the people recording this video get closer to the being, it turns out that this being crawled into a small tunnel, which is impossible for humans to get through. Now this brings into the question, what type of animal is this, if it is an animal? The only creature that I can think that sort of looks like this is maybe a monkey, but monkeys don't live in Germany and they probably wouldn't survive in Germany. It's probably too cold for them. But what do you think that this creature is? Is it a World War II experiment gone wrong? Is it some sort of strange creature we haven't discovered yet? Make sure to leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Now, I thought I would include this clip because this clip makes me very angry. The main YouTuber on this channel, he decided that he was gonna go explore some caves or tunnels with his friends. However, his friends quickly abandon him, which I think is absolutely atrocious. You should never abandon your friends in a potentially dangerous or haunted place. But they did it anyways, and I think that is really, really mean of them to do. Not all caves, like I've mentioned on this list, deal with the paranormal, but I'm pretty sure that the events that this YouTuber experienced fall into the category of the unexplained. So as you can see in the clip, he is crawling around in the tunnel and he has to leave his backpack because he can't fit both himself and his backpack through the tunnel. Now I am extremely claustrophobic, so I have no idea why he decided to do this because this is just terrifying for me, but I mean to each their own you know, at least he got some good quality content, I guess. As 
as he's crawling through these tunnels, his camera malfunctions at weird places for unexplained reasons. Also, while he's looking for his friends through these tunnels and he has an opportunity to go up in a tunnel, it's like someone is throwing rocks at him. Also, when his light starts to wear out and he's losing his ability to see, you can hear some strange noises uh, following him. And this, of course, makes him extremely uncomfortable and rightfully so. In the final clip, when he gets back to his backpack, when he decides to turn back and not look for his friends anymore, his stuff is scattered all over the place, which is just disturbing on one level, but I'm just gonna let you look and see if you can spot anything strange. Maybe this could be really shiny rocks, but considering the other strange th things that happened in the cave, mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. I really think this is either a paranormal entity or some sort of animal, which is um, disturbing. So what do you guys think of these videos? Are they real? Are they fake? Can they easily be explained by something natural in these minds? Make sure to leave your thoughts down below. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to be notified when I have new uploads. Also, make sure to hit the bell icon to be one of the first people notified when I have new uploads. That's it for today. Make sure to check out some of my other paranormal videos linked down below, and bye!